So, we're going to talk about this. And we're going to talk about this once and for all. WrestleMania is Saturday, April 1st, and Sunday, April 2nd, two nights. And WWE is in a lot of problems going in and going out of WrestleMania. So, the first problem is damage control. And how could they fix damage control? Control the team of Dakota Kai, Bailey, and Io Sky. So, Damage singles competitors are truly what they need to be before they should have been a group, but. But when Dakota and Io got called up to the main roster, everyone expected them to be treated the way they were in NXT. I know Dakota Kai wasn't this big star in NXT, but Io Sky was when she was Io Shirai. She was the NXT Women's Champion for over a year. Dakota Kai was still building, they were still building her character. And Bailey hasn't been on TV in a year. And, but when she was last on TV in 2021... It, it's just a downfall. Like, Bailey, just terrible. Terrible for Bailey. And it, it's a shame that WWE is not treating Bailey like she was being treated uh, four, four, three years ago. Three, four years ago in 2019 and 2020 when she was the biggest women's wrestler on top. Other than Becky Lynch. But then when Becky left. To get have a baby. Bailey was the biggest women's wrestler in WWE. And then. She loses the SmackDown Women's title Sasha Banks. At WrestleMania 37. And then she. She just went downhill from there. Like how could you. Ruin Bailey. And then when she comes back. She comes back. Forms a group. A faction with Dakota Kai and Neil Sky, which in her mind it was supposed to be her, Dakota Kai, Tegan Knox, and Peyton Royce, the original group. But this group was being pitched for years and was turned down, and then finally went. When they finally went with it, it just flopped, and they could be saved as a group. And the way to save them is that they have to win big at WrestleMania. But before we get to WrestleMania, let's just start how I would rebook damage control. If I was to rebook damage control in the WWE, this is how I would do it. First of all, I would honestly, if they were, I would make them debut at SummerSlam. I would make them go on a hot streak, hot winning streak because they were supposed to be like the female shield and, and it could still work if you just need to save them and this is going to be the first part of many videos I'm going to do as we go up to Wrestlemania but anyways this is how I would get with them they'd come out at SummerSlam like they did okay that's Confront Bailey, Bianca, and Becky. And then, like they did, they attack Becky and Bianca. But they didn't attack Bianca. But I would have made them do is on the following Raw, since Becky was injured, attack ba Bianca and Becky. And then have. In the storyline, Becky gets injured by damage control, and then you know she get she goes on the injury list. She gets taken out of action for until she came back in November. Then I will have a Clash of the Castle, the same thing. I'm not gonna change any matches, but I'm gonna change a little bit. Just have damage control. 
outright just dominate that whole match to make people look serious. Yeah, they won that match, and then people were getting into them, and then shit just went to the fan. And then I would have them... First of all, first of all, I would have them win the Women's Tag Team Title Tournament, and they would still be champions today when in their first reign in August. But it just the ending sucked, where they had fucking Aaliyah pin Dakota Kai when she wasn't the legal competitor in the match. First of all, I would change that, and I would make Dakota and Io win and go into Clash of the Castle. As the women's tag team champions. As they fight Alexa, Bianca, and Asuka. And then Extreme Rules. I would have the Code and Neo defend the tag team titles. Uh, against Asuka and Alexa. Because at the time of the, for the storyline. Even though Aaliyah got injured. But. Aaliyah got injured but. She was cleared in our, at the end of October. She hasn't been on TV since, but we're not going to get to that part. Have the Code and Neo fight Asuka and Alexa, Extreme Rules, beat them, and then Bailey beats Bianca. I mean, and then this will, this will start a reign of terror of damage control, how... The Shield dominated and won the tag team titles, and Dean Ambrose won the United States title. This is how it would be, but it would be the. They wouldn't be dominant as the Shield. Though I would make them. I would create a finisher for all three of them. The Shield had the triple power bump. I would make them have their own triple finisher, like the Shield did. But I don't know what I would do. I don't want to do a power bomb, but. It's probably what what would have been the better best choice. Because triple power bomb is a very popular move every time the shield does it. Everyone likes when the shield did it. So then uh, Extreme Rules have like I said, Bailey beat Bianca for the Rollins title. <coughs> and then And make her look like make Bailey fucking like Bailey, Dakota, and Io would actually be a respectable group. I mean, they're not going to win all the time, but they would be on this hot winning streak for a while. And then at Crown Jewel, I would book a triple threat match for the women's tag team titles since Aaliyah was cleared. You know what I mean? I would make it where Raquel and Aaliyah get their rematch. So it was Asuka and Alexa, and then Dakota and Io, and then they just outright dominate that match as well. And then, Bailey versus Bianca, crown jewel, have Bailey beat Bianca again. And then this was turned into, this will start build it up to war games. Have the same war games match, Bianca, Alexa... Bianca, Alexa, Asuka, Becky, Miriam versus Damage Control, Rhea Ripley, and Nikki, Nikki Cross. And, yeah, they had Becky Lynch come back, be a part of that team, and win. I would do the opposite and make Damage Control win because they needed that win more than anything. And I think that that was, like, literally... The the fall of damage control. They've been back for nine months now, and it, it just really was a the disaster after Survivor Series, and then they just been on a hot losing streak. They just been they they lost to Becky and Lita, and now they're fighting Becky Lee and Trish at WrestleMania. So when Becky comes back, she starts feuding with Bailey. Bianca's done with her feud. Bianca would fight. I had make Bianca fight the SmackDown. I would actually make <sighs> Bianca or I don't know who I'd make Bailey fight at WrestleMania. Probably 
I would probably still make Kana Asuka fight Bailey for the World Women's title and then have Rhea Ripley fight Charlotte. But I don't know, maybe Bianca, Rhea, and Charlotte. I don't know what I would do for the SmackDown Women's title yet. But now we get to the feud with Becky and Lita. First of all, I would not make Becky and Layla win the women's tag team titles. And I think that was the worst decision ever. And god-awful decision. But now that they did it, and now we have this six-woman tag team match at WrestleMania, how you save them? Because I'll tell you how I would rebook them. But I can't go on a full fucking rebook damage control all the way until next year's WrestleMania. I can't do that. I can't. I can't. I, it would be hours of sitting here talking about how I then rebook every match. That's how I fix things first. Make them look like a legitimate ta- faction of them winning and sweeping Bianca, Becky in their feud. I mean, think about it. You, you beat Bianca and Becky, the two biggest stars. You you actually have a legitimate fucking faction over here. And that's what though they did wrong is not make them win at war games. So now, how you fix them? So she fixed them by, first of all, you make Trish Strands turn heel at WrestleMania. And you know what? If Trish turn, turns heel... That would actually help them because they would win that match. And they need to win that match. Dance Control needs the biggest win ever at WrestleMania. People are going to... People hate them. But if, if WWE can fix this faction, they could be a legit faction. Because right now, if they lose at WrestleMania, you break up Dance Control... Have Eo, Bailey, and Dakota separate, or you have one of them turn face. Obviously, you kick Eo or Dakota out of damage control, or you kick Bailey out. But Bailey shouldn't be heel. And you know what? The thing is that if they break up damage control, you have them. You have Bailey and Dakota kick out Eo, and then you recruit people like Candace. India Hartwell and maybe Alba Fire to the group have EO fight Asuka at SummerSlam for the Romans title and then have EO win the Romans title and then she feuds with damage control and then she builds her own group up of 400 people you have Bailey, Dakota um Candace and maybe like I said Tegan Tegan Albafire and Candace You build their group up They have a five woman group and then EO finds her five woman group which will probably be Becky Bianca this is where Bianca returns EO um, and two other wrestlers from NXT, probably Roxanne, and fucking, I don't know. But then you have this War Games match, and then at next year's War Games in 2023, if they, which is this year's War Games, if they do have War Games this year, you have that, you end it, you beat damage control and then you just end the few there. Bailey and Dakota and their group go on and few with a different f- faction. But the problem with this is that there's not a lot of women's factions in WWE. And there's not a lot of women's tag teams because WWE doesn't want to combine. What WWE should do is combine the Raw, the NXT, and SmackDown women's division into one. So you can have more tag teams. And this is the problem. There's not a lot of tag teams. 
That's why a lot of tag teams in WWE and all across their brands, all three brands, are failures. I mean, some of them were good, but they failed because a lot of them got released. Uh, a lot of women got released. Um, no one, like, though they didn't show interest into the group, they build a team and then they break up that team and it's never heard from again. It's just all a mess with this woman's division. And so you rebook damage control. Like I said earlier in the video, make them a dominant faction and make them more serious. Or if they lose, you split them up, turn EO heel. I mean, turn EO face, not heel. And keep Bailey Dakota as a team and make Bailey and Dakota recruit. Uh, two other stars or three other women from NXT or the main roster. Like, um, like they wanted to. Like, Bailey wanted Peyton Royce in the group. Peyton Royce and fucking Tegan Knox, But, which, which I could see Tegan Knox being in the group and Alba Fire. But, well, Dakota wants Alba Fire. Bailey wanted it. What she wanted, but she didn't get it. But Bailey wants Cora J now, so but I don't know. It's too early for Cora J to be called up from the main roster, so I think this group should be a four woman group with Bailey Dakota. Honestly, Bailey Dakota, Tegan Knox, and Alba Fire. That would be the perfect group. I mean, you could also add Andy Hartwell in it, but I think. What though they should do is reunite the way Indy Hartwell, Dex Lewis, John Gargano, Austin Theory, and Candice LeRae. Because they could be, because if Judgment Day gets drafted to SmackDown, you need a faction on Raw, and the bloodline is slowly splitting, so you need the way. And you need damage control. And then you need, I don't know, but you need a, you need groups on Raw and you need groups on SmackDown. I'm not saying build 400 factions like AEW does, but it's, you have two options here. You split up, you make them lose, you split them up. Call it failed, failed group. You make them win. They have a chance of being saved, and then you put titles on them again. You don't even have to put the Raw Women's title. You could put the SmackDown Women's title again, but no one's going to want Bailey to beat Rhea Ripley. And then, I mean, Eel could be Asuka, and Bailey and Dakota could be Tag Team Champions. But who was going to beat Kana? Now, if Io does beat Oscar at SummerSlam, Bailey and Dakota are going to get jealous, and then they probably will turn on Io. So, I think Io gets kicked out of damage control if they continue this group or split all of them up and get back to damage control when it actually is the perfect timing and build. Each three of them up back as singles competitors and make them win solos, titles, and as they move on. But if though they does introduce a mid card title for the women's division, then this group could easily work. But that's the only way I can see Bailey getting a title if they introduce a mid card title. Dakota and Eagle, Eo, Dakota and Eo could still be tag team champions. But rightfully, what though they need to do is make Dakota and Io win the tag team titles back after WrestleMania and Bailey win a championship. It's long overdue for her, as well as it's long overdue for Alexa Bliss. But you fix damage control, you rebook them damage control as a Dom's faction, or you just split them up. And, and it's like, what does WWE do with those three? And I don't know what they're going to do with those three. 
you fix them. It, it's not like they're terrible. It's just that ish, the group is terrible. And I don't know how, like I said, tri- Triple H had EO and Dakota as, their, as his biggest stars in NXT. And then main roster, it's just a big flop. So, and, and a lot of the call-ups. Or, or failing, but they could all be fixed, and yeah, you give it time, but it's like, how could you fuck up their NXT run to the main roster? Like, how could you mess them up? What do you do with damage control? They were supposed to be this dominant group, and they're not even dominant. They're getting squashed on television. They're losing to Lita. And Becky. And they really knew to win at WrestleMania. Damage Control needs to win at WrestleMania. And there is going to be another video. And of me talking about. Roman Reigns and the Bloodline. And the other. And other groups. What they could go. After. Go through after WrestleMania. What they should do. And that's going to come soon. But the first video here. Will be about Damage Control. And then the next video, I don't know, maybe about the bloodline. I don't know, I'm going to try to make a series of videos on the way to WrestleMania. But what do you think? Do Should should Doug Day should have booked Damage Control as a dominant group, like I said earlier? And do you think Doug Day should split them up if they lose? And do you think if Doug Day should keep them as a group? If they win. Because obviously. Best thing to do. Split them up if they lose. Tell me. What you think in the comment section. Below. What they, though they should do with damage control. For WrestleMania. And I'll speak to you guys in, the, in another video. Bye.